everybody. Tidepool Tim here, Gulf of Maine. Tim, look up. Say hey. Here I am. <laughs> We're checking in on our anemones again. Sea anemone adventure series part three. What we've noticed is we've come back to look at them. And what is this, Tim? Well, uh, I've never actually seen this in the wild, but I've always read that these lion's mane, one of their uh, main sources of food, are anemones. So two weeks ago or a month ago, we put these anemones, saved them, rescued them, put them in this tide pool, and then we come back today, and here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then down underwater, eight, nine, 10, 12 or 15 of these ganged up on this anemone, and you can see right here where they've been chewing away on the side of the animal. So it's actually, you know, uh, just a little predator-prey relationship, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's part of Mother Nature. But I've just never actually seen this. And these are, these lion's manes, nudibranchs, are sea slugs. Flip them over, and they get that name, obviously, from the... From, from their the, morphology. Yes. So, Look very that. cool. We tried to save these sea anemones, well, but we did actually, save them. We did save them, but then we actually just saved them as a meal for these lion's mane nudibranchs. So nature finds a way. Yes, it does. The so cycle of life. I'm gonna take on. these and throw them to the far side of the pool and make them happen. <laughs> Good call. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Look at them down here. Tide Pool Tim, Cops Cook Bay, Gulf of the Main, Inc. Yeah,